Hey farm hands, Carl Reeve here. We've got another episode of Lab here, and uh, today we got some more uh, nice marine fish that we're gonna place in these tanks. So I got some nice designer clowns. Um, so over in the, the Krypton tank, I have some nice uh, grade eight uh, Picasso. They're a very nice looking clown. And then in our Asgard tank right here, I have some really nice black ice clowns. They're amazing guys. I like to see these different kinds of different clown uh, fish for your uh, reef tanks. So uh, uh, Tatuni, they're not quite ready yet. They're still in quarantine. I can't wait to show you guys and place them as well. That one will be coming up a different episode, but we're gonna have enough uh, clowns for these two tanks as well. So they've been acclimating here for about an hour. The way I like to acclimate uh, my fish is add a little bit of tank water at the same time. So we make sure we get the salinity the same that matches the tank, matches the water in the bag and temperature. They're very crucial. We don't want to shock that fish or stress it out and then it'll end up, uh, end up dying us and we don't want that to happen because we have to show all respect to all marine life. We're a caretaker for these tanks. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna release uh, these uh, clowns into each of these tanks. So we got our, our grade eight Picassos and we have our black ice. I can't wait to get these placed in here. And then later on, we're gonna get some really nice uh, anemones. So we can end up uh, hosting that as well. So. Let's get these guys in the tank and check them out. All right guys, so let's get these black ice into the tank here. So they've been acclimating. I'm just gonna release them one at a time. So there's one. They're a very beautiful looking clown. And we're gonna release the second one. There we go. So, End up, it's always important to uh, quarantine your uh, fish as well. Um, and your, probably your local fish store will have a fish quarantine for probably a couple weeks to make sure it's uh, got no parasites, they're not sick, that they're eating before they sell them to you. Um, it's like these fish as well, they were in quarantine, uh, rebagged, and then I could place them in my tank out of the quarantine system. So it's very important, guys. So as you guys can see, they're looking great. Um, I can't wait to get some really nice anemones. So I end up hosting. Always remember that the the anemone hosts the clown, it's not the other way around. Some people get that mixed up. It's gonna be great, guys. So I'm gonna bring you guys up close and personal so you can check out uh, these uh, Picassos and these black ice, and then I'm gonna have something special uh, for ta Tatuni as well, so you guys can check it out. What they did is they take a black oscillaris clown and a snowflake oscillaris clown and breed them together, and end up giving you uh, black ice, just like the pair you got here. Um, these ones are orange, they're white, so the markings on them is there they have the orange and then they have the black around the tips as well it makes it look a very amazing uh, looking clown as you guys can see they're moving around they always stay very close together if you want to be able to tell which one's the female the female is always the largest one of the pair which you end up lay the eggs it's gonna be great and they're a very easier uh, clown to breed in your home aquarium right so let's move on to the krypton tank and um, we'll do a little bit of information on the picasso so we have our uh, premium uh, Picassos here. Um, they're a highly sought after variety of uh, Perksola clown. The Picasso variety occurs naturally in the Solomon Islands of Papua New Guinea. However, it's especially rare. Um, the different strains, if you have the ones that have been uh, bred, they're definitely a lot easier to uh, eat and they're definitely a lot harder. Um, these clowns like to eat a lot of different meaty foods as well. So as you guys can see, they're uh, doing really well. They're moving around the tank. Let's see if I can zoom you guys in. You can check them out. You can see a really nice, uh, beautiful white pattern on them as well. All right, farm hands. So those are the, the designer clowns we got for we got for uh, Krypton and uh, Asgard. So we're just gonna be waiting on uh, Tatoon, and we'll see what I'm gonna show you guys. What's gonna be going in that tank as well. So you guys got your close and personal. We got some nice fish going on here. We learned a little bit of information. So uh, thanks for tuning in this week, guys. Um, tune in the same time, same place next week. You never know what's coming up. So please subscribe and hit the like button.